Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and welcome to Exapunks Episode 3. We're going to answer Ember 2's important questions. I have an important question for you. Okay. Imagine there's an out-of-control trolley, and five humans tied up on the track ahead of it. But you can stop the trolley by maybe if... Um, throwing a switch? No, that wasn't the one I was going to ask. Recalibrating. Say you had a friend, and you knew the friend could help you become stronger. Would you ask for their help? Uh, I don't know enough about the situation to say. Let's say it was a situation where the friend had to sacrifice something in order for that to occur. This sounds like foreshadowing. Probably not. Okay, good to know. I'm going to process this information. Good. Ah, oh, we get new stuff. Okay. Hey, Gast, your zine is cool. Why use dead trees? You could... Duh, blah, blah. Yes, they're talking about old-fashioned. So, yes. Find and retrieve a specific file for Ember 2. Can friendship exist without self-interest? Why couldn't it? There'd be no point if there weren't benefits to the parties involved, but maybe it will make sense if I see this in the wild. Anyway, there's a particular file I need you to locate here. Don't concern yourself with whatever else you happen to see. It's all obsolete. Okay, so find file 276 in the network and bring it back to your host. So yeah, um, let me see. So yeah, we basically have to find a file, and I guess you could clean, you know, switch back and forth for different runs, and it'll be there. But it also looks like it's being held by a, a another entity. So I'm gonna have to kill that entity. So there's different ways you could do it. You could just have them kind of progressively run down here and then step back and then step up and then, you know, come back to here and then step down and step up. Um, that might work. I could just, like, encode this in one big thing. Or I could do a... I do have it split off multiple entities. Let's do that. So we're going to have it create child entities. So what we're going to do, uh, 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 so we're going to link 800, for the first step. No. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what we do here. Okay. So we're going to do a loop where we link 800 and then uh, right, traverse. Right, right, right. Let's do, let's call this mark. Trav. Okay. So we're going to add 1 to x. And so if x is equal to 4, then we're done. Okay, so test x equals 4. If it's true, jump to uh, grab, right? Otherwise, we're going to send one person one way and we're going to create another one. So we, what we need to do... Oh, shoot. What is the command? So I need to look at my documents and find this out. Replicate. Replicate. Okay, so... So we're going to replicate and we're going to call this one 801. Uh, no, no. We, we've got to give it a name like J801. L801. So Mark will be L... 801 and for that we will link 801 because you see there's 800 on one side and 801 on the other right meanwhile this one will just link to 800 because it'll go to the next step and then both of these need to jump to traverse So that should, if I step this through, let's see if this works. Oh wait, we need to do a grab. Mark, grab, and what we'll do with when we grab is, we'll actually just try to grab the file name, right? Oh, but we need to know which file, file number 276. So grab 276. But we'll actually need to kill something that's there first, right? Kill, and then head back. So, the next thing we'll do is mark ret, and then we'll just do, 
Actually, you know what? We know how far we need to go. So we'll just, we could just do like four links. Link minus one. So I'm just going to unroll this. Never mind marking. We're just going to unroll this to make it shorter. There we go. And then drop. And then that's it. Us actually, right? So let's try stepping through this. So we split. And then we create two of them. And then one goes one way, one goes the other. Excellent. Hey! So now do we jump? We add one and everybody adds one and then we test. We jump to grab. So we kill whatever's in that zoom. There. Oh, I thought we'd kill that. And we grab. And we've grabbed it. And then we head back. Hey! Totally works. I am amazed that that actually worked. Now where do I... Oh wow, that doesn't that look nice? To be slightly better. <laughs> unknown network one, unknown context. Great. That's not the only... There's multiple ways we could do this, I guess. You could just like hard code the list of search paths. Would you say you had friends? Uh... Sure I do. Yeah, like Gast, the Exapunks. You never say anything about them. Do friends not communicate back and forth? Either way, this is good data for me. Oh, you and your data. I've been exploring my local phone system and have found some anomalies. It's good this is here because you can, you'll be able to look back and find clues. Okay, now I've got to hack the UC Berkeley restore file from an antiquated backup system. This is interesting because we need to go and find out how backups work. They tried to wipe everything clean. But luckily there's a set of backups. Always keep a backup and always verify that your backups actually work, right? Let's be clear. Try restoring from your backups every now and then. Uh, sometimes it's good to obliterate. If your memories had backups, you'd remember more of your past. Just saying. What? Is that some implication that I've forgotten my past? Okay, so I have to locate the specified host, either tape 1, 2, or 3, and then locate the specified entry in the tape backup file that host create in your, wait a sec. Okay, so I need to take this, I guess I could take this with me, right? Is there a way for me to get back out? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, and then create a file on my host. So I'm gonna need to create a new beastie anyway, right? So this one's job is to, we'll grab 300 and then it'll, copy the data, uh, copy, so tape three is the thing, so copy file to M, we're gonna send that across the network, and copy F to M, so we'll get those for now, and then we'll listen for the response. Next, this guy is gonna link to 800, and then he's gonna copy M to X. So now here's the loop, right? Because he's going to have to take two steps every time. Oh, actually, this this thing isn't a... Uh, this isn't part of the thing either. So I guess he could just actually do link 800 three times, right? Because that first node... What is that file? Oh, that's the user file. Huh. There's all these hidden files here and there with data and stuff. We'll have to learn about tape formats, right? So I'm gonna link 800 three times. That's just as fast as doing it. So now we copy M to X, and we need to test whether, now how do we test the current host? Uh, 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 void, where, where do we find host? Host R, copy the name of host into the current register. So we'll copy host and we'll use the T register because it's there, right? And now we test whether x is equal to t. And if that's true, actually if it's false, uh, yeah, let's actually do this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do this. I'm trying to do this in the least amount of code and everything. So mark, find. Uh, F host, find host. 
So if, if it's false, then we're going to jump back to F host and do that again, right? So we'll take two more steps around the network do, 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 and circle. Now we found that we are on the host. The next thing we need to do is copy the file name into the into my X register, M into X. Now we need to open up the file. So we're going to grab 200 and start iterating through it. Now the data we're looking for so if you look at the zine, there is a section on tape backups somewhere, digicache, tape backups. So it tells you that at the end of the file it has a section where it has the index. So it'll tell you that the file secret starts at offset 3 and is length 4. So we need to get that data and do something useful with it. So what I need to do is search through the file until I find that offset, right? Or I could search backwards. That would actually be faster, right? So let's seek to the end. And then we'll then we'll do a seek minus three. And then we're gonna test uh, whether f is equal to x, which contains the file name. If that's true, then jump to copy or uh, no, C file, I don't know, grab file, C file. I don't come up with the name. C file. Otherwise, we now need to re reset, right? Seek. Yeah, this is our loop here. We'll call this F loop. See, minus four because we've switched forward one and we need to go back and then jump F loop. So now we've found our entry at the end of the file and we need to know there's two values here we need. One is the one is the length and one is the thing. Okay. So We need to store. Yeah, so we need to store the offset, but we we're not gonna we're only gonna use it once. So we can store that in the T register. The T register gets destroyed whenever we do anything. So copy F to the T register, and then copy F to the X register. Now I should now the X register contains the length, so I should probably send that to the other dude. So copy X to the M register so that he gets that. Now we're going to seek to zero and then seek, oh sorry, seek minus 999 to get to the start and then seek to offset contained in T. And now we're in our send loop, right? So that's mark S loop. So we uh, we seek to the right offset. So we're gonna copy F to M, and then we're gonna subtract X one X. So we're gonna store the data in there, and then we're gonna test. Wait a second. If that's equal to if it's less than zero, right? Test X less than zero. False. Jump. To S loop. And that should be B mean that, that should mean that I've sent all this data, and so I should just be able to terminate here, right? Okay, now on this side, now what we're waiting for now is we're gonna drop this file, because we don't really need it, and we're gonna make a file. Actually, we could overwrite the 300 to be honest, right? We're gonna make a new file. And then we're gonna copy the M value to the X value. And now we're gonna run a loop. So it'll be our loop. Receive loop. Copy message to F and then sub I X one 
x uh, and test x uh, less than zero. If that's false, then jump back to the receive loop. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Let's see how this works. Okay, so it's gonna do a test. Tape one and tape three, it's not gonna do it, right? Tape one and tape two, not gonna do it. Tape one, tape three, and it's starting to work. So it's grabbing the file, seeking to the end of the file, then it's going back three, and it finds, it does, it finds the name. So now it's gonna copy the value, the offset in there, and it's gonna copy the, val the length in there, seek back to the start of the file, seek to the offset that we're looking at, and then start sending that across the network. Uh, did that work? That doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> Something didn't work correctly. Okay, so test. We're subtracting one from X. Uh, 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 uh. We copied X to M there. Okay, so what I can do is do that and it will automatically run to that offset, right? So X is 18. Let's hold Alt and click, right? So you can hold Alt and click through. Okay, so now X equals less than zero. Actually, maybe I just need to test equals to zero in this case. That might, that might be my option here. Let's try it now. That's an off by one error, maybe. There we go, yeah. Okay, Obi-Wan, off by one. Oh, nice, again, slight improvement over me, I guess. Kind of a shame what happened here. There was some interesting research going on. What happened? Oh, you know, people get swapped around, priorities change, things don't work out for lots of reasons. Aha! Uh -huh. So we got this. Yeah, anyone was welcome to submit. Very cool. Oh, look, they're talking about government beeps on the telephone. So this uh, apparently is Russian for solitaire or patience or something. This is how I remember it. A test bed for goal seeking behaviors regulated by emotional reasoning. Do you like to play a game? Yes, I do. I would like to play global thermonuclear warfare. Let's just play a nice game of patience because that again is something of a theme in Zactronics games. So this one you need to stack the face cards together and then you stack the other cards. Okay, so... Yes! Something in Russian! I am truly victorious! So yes, um... Brilliant! If you ever need a break from hacking, this is a good choice. It's mildly active, and not as taxing as putting together EXAs or EXAs. See how I'm keeping your needs in mind. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciating me will make things easier. Let's continue. Indeed, let's continue in the next episode. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.